my channel V Swain's Shoebox Sundays. So today is a different kind of upload. I would like to pack a Barbie soccer themed shoebox and I would like to make a soccer field for my Barbies back there. I've got two of them to play soccer on. So I'm going to use this box that I ordered from Amazon. This piece of packaging, which I think I'm gonna cut right here, and I'm gonna put that on the side of the box. The child can tip the box on its side, and it'll show this soccer stadium scene in the background so that these Barbies can play soccer in front of a crowd. So I plan to do that, and then I'm gonna in, in the style of how I make my play mats, I'm going to make them a soccer field to play soccer on. And I have these two pieces of really great soccer field pieces of scrapbook paper, which I'm going to use, but I want my soccer field to even be a little bit bigger than this. So I'm going to add, I didn't have the exact color green, but I found some that was pretty close. And so I'm going to add some paper to it to make the soccer field bigger. So the first thing that I'm going to do, though, is I am going to put some duct tape around this box just to hold the sides up like this. I mean, I don't need to. It's got these inside slotted pieces that kind of hold it together, but I kind of want it to stay like that. So when the box is open now, the sides will stay up. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is cut this piece out and I'm going to use these scissors I got at Dollar Tree in the kitchen, uh, kitchen department, kitchen section, their kitchen shears and they're really, really great for cutting through thicker chipboard paper. So there I have my stadium piece, which I can put right here to make my soccer field. I think what I'm going to do is just cut these pieces in half. Let's just slice the paper down the center, right down the center at six inches because it is 12 by 12 paper. So this piece, okay, so what I have here so far is a shorter soccer field, but like I said, I want it to be just a little bit longer. It still won't be the scale, but I mean, I mean, I guess I could just leave it at that, but I think I'm going to add two more pieces. So I'm going to take one more piece of green paper. It's not exactly the same color green, but that's okay. So just like I make my play mats, I'm going to laminate each of these pieces and then it'll fold and you can unfold it, cut them out, tape them together. Okay, I have all my pieces cut the way I want them. And so now I just need to slip them into the laminating sheets and send them through the laminator. Okay, I have all my pieces laminated. And so now I just need to cut them out and I think I'll use my good kitchen shears because they're nice and strong so I'm just going to cut these pieces out this is just like how the process I use when I make my play mats okay so I have my all my pieces cut out and I'm going to tape them together so I'm going to do a little bit of rearranging so I can show you how I tape this together so these, this is the center of 
have the soccer field. And then these are the added pieces to make the field longer. And then these are the, let's see, how does this go here? Oh, like that. So there, I got my soccer field. So it's not to scale, it's definitely not wide enough. So I'm gonna tape these together. So, not last year, but the year before, I uploaded a video showing how I make these play mats or make play mats that double as dry erase. These are not gonna be that because, well, I mean, I guess if I included a couple of dry erase markers, she could like keep score right here on the field. So I may do that. First, I just put a little piece on each end just to hold them in place while I put bigger pieces on. And what you wanna do is tape these together as closely as possible but you still want them to fold. If the paper is darker, then you can usually see the tape. If it's lighter colored, you usually can't see the tape. And so what I do is I put the tape on both sides. Okay, so I have two pieces put together here, and now I'm gonna finish this off I'm going to put these two pieces here. I'm going to tape it and then it's all going to fold at the end. So I'm going to do that off camera. So there you have it, friends. That's my soccer field. I don't think I can get it all in camera here. It's a pretty long soccer field. <laughs> so I think that she will have some fun. Barbies. One of them can stand up on the stand and she can hold the other one. And see if I can score a goal. There! Yay! I scored! So, one to nothing team blonde. And so I'll show you how I pack up the rest of this Barbie soccer box. I hope I can fit a soccer ball in. I'm going to try. Okay, so I'm ready to box up this Barbie soccer box and I picked out items that I want to try to include in the box. And so I just, I set up the field here that I made with the Barbies on their Barbie stands. And then I took a picture of it and I just printed it out on regular paper. And so I'm going to include this in the box so that the young lady who receives this box will get an idea that she can play with her Barbies on this soccer field. And I just wanted to say a couple things about the box that I used. Uh, I ordered this box from Amazon and it's a different kind of box. It's corrugated but it's plastic coated so it's really sturdy. The, the diff the, what makes it really different though is that it closes at the top. The flaps fold in and then it has these little tabs and the tabs go inside the slots there like that and that's how it closes. And so I was a little concerned that this was a different kind of box and maybe OCC wouldn't, uh, wouldn't want this kind of box. And so I emailed them and I described the box and I sent a couple of photos of it. Um, it is shoebox size. It's not overly big. It's a little bit bigger than an OCC Go box, but it's not too much bigger. It just closes at the top. And I described the box, like I said, and they emailed me back and they said that the box was okay to use. And so I'm gonna put their full response in the description in case you would like to read it because it really is helpful. They talk about boxes that are okay to send. Okay, friends, to show you how I pack up the box, flat things on the bottom. There's a full size green 12 inch ruler that also has metric. And these are the workout hair accessories that you can get at Walmart. Uh, they, I got the uh, hair elastics, the earrings, and the headbands. Each one of those was 50 cents. 
So for $1.50, she's got some hair accessories that are great for playing soccer in. And here is the photo that I printed out to show her how to set up her soccer field. So I just folded that and tucked that at the bottom of the box. And she also will find a tote bag, a drawstring backpack tote bag. This is the World Cup, the Soccer World Cup tote bags that they had on clearance at Walmart. So that fits nicely on the bottom of the box. And then I'm going to put in her soccer field, which I just folded up accordion style. That goes in next. And I laminated some more of the packaging from her soccer Barbie. This is Alex Morgan. It has her bio and a quote. She's on the USA women's soccer team. And here is her certificate. I also laminated that so she can read about her Barbie. And this is a smaller size notebook from Dollar Tree, spiral, spiral bound. It's a really pretty kind of teal green color. And I added that soccer, love soccer sticker to the cover. And she has some colored pencils. I broke up a set of 36 that I got last year after school supplies went on clearance. She has some extra Barbie clothes, outfits, and accessories for her two Barbies because they can't play soccer all the time. They might want to dress up in a pretty dress. And for her school supplies, I put some of them, not the pencils, but I put some of her school supplies in this waist accessories bag. So it has the strap and she has this hidden pictures workbook. It has several hidden picture, hidden picture puzzles in it. And then after she solves the puzzles, she can color the pictures with her crayons and her colored pencils. I got that from nair.org. Here is her pencils packed separately. Uh, there are some soccer pencils in there and she has some crayons to go with her colored pencils, a few of them. And this is a little stationary kit that I got on clearance at Walmart. It came with a notepad, the eraser and some stickers and I added scissors, soccer stickers, and a cross necklace. And it also came with this attached zipper pull of a unicorn. And I included the color forms sticker sets you can get at Dollar Tree and some stickability stickers of cute girls that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby and I did take that back out and take the sticker off the packaging and here are some neon green colored athletic style socks that will go nicely with this soccer shirt the shirt says, my game is out of this world. And I got it at Old Navy. It is a size eight. It has those neon green accents on it. Here is a soccer ball for this young lady. And I think I got this at Walmart. And it's a size four soccer ball. And I included a pump and extra pump needles. And next, I put in her Barbies. I put the Barbies in these green organza bags. Each one comes with a Barbie stand, and each one comes with a soccer ball. And one of the soccer balls is an eraser, and I included a comb. If you've noticed, the Barbies have the same number on their jerseys, but that's okay. And so, I fit the Barbies in along the side in the back, and then I still had room to put in along the other side of the box this hygiene kit that has soap and band-aids and lip balm and mini mending kits. And then her soccer ball fit right along the side on the other side of the box. 
and I tucked in her socks and her shirt. And then I added some underwear that I put in an organza bag. And I have this little mini Barbie coloring book. I tucked that along one of the sides. And I added this pretty pink comb. Tucked that in along the front side. And she has this pencil with a soccer eraser. And she has a toothbrush. Both of those are green, the toothbrush and the pencil. There's a lot of greens in this box. Here is a set of stackable highlighters, heart-shaped, that I got at Walmart. Here is a pencil sharpener that is neon green. It's an enclosed sharpener. She has a magic towel for her washcloth. And she has this whistle, this soccer ball whistle. And she has this little keychain, this little Barbie keychain that came with these little markers just for some fun. An Uno Go game, a little mini Uno Go game from Dollar Tree. Almost done. She's got also from Dollar Tree this little soccer Barbie mini figure. She's got a ring, silicone ring that says I love Jesus. Another pencil sharpener. The note and photo for the child. And there's the soccer box that I packed for this girl age five to nine. And this is how it closes. The flaps fold in, you tuck the tabs in. And then at the processing center, they can still put the tape right down the middle of the box to hold those flaps shut. The tabs pretty much hold it shut, but the tape will secure it down. And then at the distribution site, they could just slit the tape and the box will open nicely. And for its long journey, to help keep it secure till it gets taped shut, I added the number 107 rubber bands, two of them on each flap, just to keep it nice and secure. You can see that I added some soccer stickers to decorate the outside of the box. I've got my label on, it's for a girl five to nine. And that is the box that I packed. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you next time, friends. Bye for now.